Good morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about biopotentials and overview. This topic is present in the subject medical electronics. Biopotentials An electric potential that is measured between points in living cells, tissues and organisms and which accompanies all biochemical processes are referred to as biopotentials. It also describes the transfer of information between and within cells. Certain systems of the body create their own monitoring signals which convey useful information regarding the functions they represent. These signals are the biopotentials that is BP. It produces as a result of electrochemical activity in excitable cells that are components of nervous muscles or gland tissues. They are associated with the conduction along the sensory and motor nerve system, muscular contractions, brain activity, heart contractions, etc. These potentials are a result of the electrochemical activity occurring in certain classes of cells within the body. Measurement of these biopotentials can provide clinicians with invaluable diagnostic information. Biopotentials and Overview The human body produces many different types of biopotentials. Let us see the sources of biopotentials. Brain, it produces EEG that is electroencephalogram. Heart, it produces ECG electrocardiogram. Eye, it produces ERG that is electroretinogram. Stomach, that is EGG, electrogastrogram. Then muscle, it produces EMG, electromyogram. Let us see the representation of ECG. Most diffused and used biopotential is ECG. Here is a representation of ECG. It is known since 1842 itself. Electroencephalogram EEG Brain related activity Here is a representation of electroencephalogram. This electroencephalogram is known since 1929 onwards. Electromyogram EEMG That is muscle related activity here is the representation of electromyogram. This electromyogram is known since 1966 onwards. Membrane potential. The transport of the substance through the cell membrane occurs by diffusion is called passive transport. The diffusion and drift process give rise to membrane potential. The various ions seek a balance between the inside and outside of the cell with the help of diffusion and drift process. Cell membrane potentials. Membrane potentials, that is cell membranes in general and membranes of nerve cells in particular maintain a small voltage or potential across the membrane in its normal or resting state. Resting potentials. In the resting state, the inside of the nerve cell membrane is negative with respect to the outside. Typically, its value is about minus 70 millivolts. Action potentials. If the cell is adequately stimulated, either electrically or chemically, 
the excitable cell will enter into the active state. The membrane potential varies with the time and the position within the cell in this state and is called an action potentials. Excitable cells. Excitable cells are a class of cells that produce bioelectric potentials as a result of electrochemical activity. At any given time, these cells can exist in one of two states, that is resting and acting state. Chemical and electrical stimuli can force an excitable cell from the resting to the active state. While there are numerous ionic species present both inside and outside the cell only three ions for which the membrane in its resting state is permeable play a key role in the behavior of these cells are potassium that is K plus ions in A plus that is sodium ions and Cl minus chloride ions. Let us see the ions that are present in the cells. Potassium ions that is K plus is present inside the cell. The concentration of potassium ions is 30 to 50 times higher inside as compared to outside the cell. Sodium ions in A plus is present outside the cell. Sodium ion concentration is 10 times higher outside the membrane than inside the cell. Different phases of cell representation. Here is a representation. Initially, the cell is at the resting potential state. When the cell gets excited, it gets re depolarization state. Then it follows the action potential. As soon as the action potential is over, the cell gets repolarized. It is indicated here. Then the cell slowly gets hyperpolarization, then it reaches the resting potential once again. This is indicated, that is this process, entire process is indicated in the graph. Depolarization. When the cell is in resting state, then it is said to be depolarized. The process of changing from the resting potential state to the action potential state is called depolarization depolarizing phase let us discuss about the cell excitation if the cell is excited that is stimulated either electrically or chemically the excitable cell will enter into the active state the transmembrane potential varies with time and position within the cell in this active state and this is called an action potential. The chemical or electrical stimuli increases the permeability of the membrane to sodium ions. Now sodium ions rushes into the cell due to the large concentration gradient. Positively charged ions entering the cell cause transmembrane potential to become less negative and eventually slightly positive. This change is often referred to as depolarization. A short time later, the membrane's permeability to potassium ions increases, which results in an outflow of potassium ions from the cell towards outside. The outflow of potassium ions causes the transmembrane potential to 
decrease. This decrease in potential causes the membrane's permeability to both sodium and eventually potassium to decrease to their resting levels. Repolarization When the cell fires, however, the outside of the cell becomes momentarily negative with respect to the interior. A short time later, the cell regains the normal state in which the inside is again negative with respect to outside. The discharging and recharging of the cell is known as depolarization and repolarization. Repolarizing phase In response to the appropriate stimulus, the cell membrane of a nerve cell goes through a sequence of depolarization from its rest state to the active state followed by repolarization to the rest state once again. The cell membrane actually reverses its normal polarity for a brief period before re-establishing the resting potential. Resting potentials and acting potentials representation is given below. Here is a representation. In phase 1, the cell is at a resting condition. After that, it reaches to depolarization phase, that is phase 2. Then, the blue color indicates the repolarization phase. As soon as it enters the repolarization phase, it has to reach to the resting phase, that is phase 4. It is indicated in the representation. Depolarization and repolarization representation is shown below. Here is a representation of a depolarization state and a repolarization state. Now the cell gets depolarized. After that it reaches a repolarization. Then it is in repolarized that is a resting state. It is indicated in this diagram. Absolute and relative refractory periods. Absolute refractory period ARP. During the initial portion of the action potential, the cell membrane does not respond. That duration is referred to as absolute refractory period. Relative refractory period RRP. During the relative refractory period, the action potential takes action. The refractory period limits the frequency of a repetitive excitation procedure. Depolarization and repolarization representation is shown below. A stimulus is received by the dendrites of a nurse. This causes the sodium ion channels to open. If the opening is sufficient to drive the interior potential from minus 70 millivolts up to minus 55 millivolts, the process continues. Having reached the action threshold, more Na plus channels, sometimes called voltage gated channels, open. The Na plus influx drives the interior of the cell membrane up to about plus 30 millivolts. The process to this point is called depolarization. The Na plus channels close and the K plus, that is potassium ions channel, open. Having both sodium ions and potassium ions channel open at the same time would drive the system toward neutrality and prevent the creation of the action potential. With the potassium ions channel open, the membrane begins to repolarize back toward its 
resting potential. The repolarization typically overshoots the resting potential to about minus 90, 90 millivolts. This is called hyperpolarization. Hyperpolarization prevents the neuron from receiving another stimulus during this time. Movement of ions outside and inside the cells representation. Here is a representation of the movement of sodium ions that is Na plus ions and potassium ions K plus ions. Moment of sodium and potassium ions representation. Here is another representation of sodium ions in a plus and potassium ions K plus. Now potassium ions are moving and the channel closes slowly. And once again the channel opens and the process starts action potential propagation is shown below it is a representation of action potentials propagation Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.